What is going on guys, Sonic and the Bean Show here. Today we're looking at the brand new Jack Specific Collector's Edition Classic Knuckles figure. Man, I can't believe this is already out. I believe it's only been a week since I first talked about this item, but I'm excited, you know. I love getting more Knuckles figures, and this one caught me by surprise because I figured Classic Tales would be next to keep that Sonic 1, 2, and 3 train going for the games. But then I remembered that it was Knuckles 30th anniversary this year so that explains why this one was released. Nonetheless I am curious on how this one is so let's go over the packaging. Now the packaging is actually pretty beat up you know it didn't really arrive uh, that well here but it is going to be beat up and everything like that and you can definitely see how it is when I you know open this uh, flap up but you can see how it is it's going to be similar to how the other collector's edition figures there is you know we got like an image of the figure and then you know it has like customize your very own knuckles figure and then the logo and collector's edition down here and then your warnings stuff down there as well here is the top which does just show like a you know the, the open window up here for the figure and then the logo and then the bottom is going to be of course the barcode not much um, else there and then here's the side we got the logo and then you know image of the figure and you know the accessories right there and um, here's the other side right here so you just got some more posings going on with the figure and then here is the back right here um, it does have 13 points of articulation and then these are the number of accessories you're getting here as you can see this is everything you're getting here and then there's the knuckles figure and then uh, like I said the packaging is going to be beat up so you know as I open it up <laughs> you can see that the mouth isn't even on the figure because you know it was like that but check this out we do got mushroom hill and you can see uh, Knuckles chuckling right here. But yeah, that's pretty much that. And I want to do a small comparison uh, because I still have my classic Sonic one um, right here. So again, they are pretty much the same. Uh, but this one just has the 30th anniversary logo um, sticker right there. But yes, you know, same thing, right? But yeah, that right there was the packaging. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this out of the box and take a closer look okay so here's the figure out of the packaging right here looking really nice right here i think this is actually a pretty great looking classic knuckles figure right here really liking the paint and skull work around this guy let me actually just get a, a full 360 here but uh, look at this man this is actually a really uh, cool looking classic knuckles figure as you can see um, again the paint job seems pretty clean uh this elbow right here is pretty loose on this guy I think that's the only loose joint I'm having with this figure so far. And um, I think that was the only thing I had with. And of course, like, you know, the hands are interchangeable uh, along with the mouth and the eyes. But they don't really seem to, like, pop off too easily or anything like that. You know, you just pop them off and then, you know, they don't, like, slide off too easily or so. Because I think I've had that problem with, uh, I think it was the modern Sonic figure. Uh, but this one, you know, it's fine. You know, uh, everything's fine right here. So nothing's, like too loose or so it's really just the elbow and then the shoes look pretty nice too as you can see like you know you can tell like these are like a separate piece but there's no like details or anything at the bottom see they are pretty plain so here's a closer look at the head scope right here and again the scope on this guy looks phenomenal man so what's cool is that the coils are actually a really soft rubber as you can see you see how easy it is for me to just move them so that's going to be good for head articulation See, I can just like move them out like this, but this one right here, the sh you know the short one here in the back is a little bit more tight than these are, and then the tail you can still kind of move a little bit, but it does seem like the eyes and then you know the mouth and the fist and shoes are gonna be like a hard plastic. Everything else kind of feels uh, like rubbery in a way, and I think his arms and his legs are a little bit more thick compared to the classic Sonic collector's edition figure. And then of course like his you know his hands are going to be bigger too um and then i guess the feet too but overall not too bad uh the mouth seems uh pretty shiny too actually but the paint job on the nose and the eyes and you know the other accessories uh do seem pretty good here too so that's pretty nice and then, you know you got like the symbol there on his chest and then you know here's a close-up on the shoes 
Okay, now jumping into the accessories. So this is going to be the eyes, the mouth, and then these hands you're going to get once you take the figure out of the packaging. But the other interchangeable mouths you're getting here, we do have one where, you know, he's like chuckling or I guess like cheesing too with his teeth showing. Uh, but I, I think they're kind of going with the chuckling thing since we kind of seen that with, you know, the packaging. Uh, but then this one, you just have like a normal face right here. So again, remember these are interchangeable, which I will show off. Uh, I'll try to show off each one when I take the pictures. But for the eyes, we do have this one right here where it kind of looks like, uh, you know, the eyes like slightly closed on this side. And then this one, uh, you know, it's completely closed this time, as you can see. And then, you know, to interchange these, of course, you just kind of, you know, slide the mouth from uh, or i guess i would take it from the side but it kind of looks like just from that it just took the whole thing but you know it is like a separate piece of course but that was kind of cool that i could just slide it and then it would still like come together so that's kind of cool right there now for your interchangeable hands we do get another open hand right here you know just like that and then another fisted hand so you do get another uh set for these so if you want to have like two uh, fisted hands or you know two open hands if you want to you know do something like that and then we get these hands right here which kind of looks close to you know the fisted hands but they're just slightly open this time so you are going to get these fists and then we have this accessory right here this is the breakaway uh, rock accessory as you can see you can kind of just kind of you know like break it apart really so it comes in you know a lot of these pieces as you can see I just kind of broke it all apart now the last item you get here is of course the display base so you know these always comes with these collector's edition figure and this right here is mushroom hill zone from sonic and knuckles so you can kind of you know do that here with this knuckles figure and that actually looks uh, pretty nice right there uh now uh, unfortunately uh, there is no chaos emerald that comes with this knuckles figure but you know if you have an extra one you know like right here I can you know put this green chaos emerald that came with the four inch jacks figures you know that can work it does seem like it puts more weight some though I mean maybe if I maybe bend at the elbow maybe that'll work but um, if you kind of like leave it outwards it's gonna uh, put weight on the figure and it still kind of does he still kind of leans forward with it so you know you can have that as an option but you also have a peg right here because these do have pegs and this knuckles figure i think it has the same problem with the tails where like if you kind of put it on this peg right here <laughs> the tail is going to end up bumping into this so i would probably just put it the one like that's right here so if you want to do something like that you can use this peg as like a chaos emerald so that could work so i'll just you know plug this in right there and then, uh, yeah, look at that. I think that's actually a really nice, you know, little display right there. So you have that. And then I do want to show off the base a little bit because, uh, remember, these bases usually have, like, that holographic effect. So you can see, like, when you move it, as you can see, it does have that effect right there along with the side. And then, you know, these other side. And then this side right here. You can kind of see that in a bit and um it's not going to be here on the you know the top part right here though uh it's just going to be here and then the sides right here and then you know there's the bottom and then you know the back not much going on there okay now for the articulation so the neck is still on that same ball hinge as the other figures it's a little hard to kind of see it but if you want to have knuckles like look up and then I guess like move in the quills a little bit because I think that'll probably help it a little bit but to have knuckles look up I'd say you're gonna get this much you know I think this is okay but you're not really gonna like maybe put them in like some gliding poses really but I think that's okay and then to have them look down I'd say you're gonna get just about there and then you do have a rotation to the head but moving the quills like moving this over you know the tail right there you can turn at the head as you can see but yeah you do get a full rotation to the head and then that's actually going to help with the hinge to the shoulder let me actually just fix the head a little bit and see how that is so yeah you know hinge at the shoulder is okay and then of course you have your full rotation there we do have our single jointed elbows and you get just this much at the elbow well actually this it seems like it doesn't even want to yeah, yeah, so you get this much uh, range right there with the elbow as you can see and you can, you know, rotate that as well. Now the hands, of course, they're just on a ball peg because they are interchangeable and then you can rotate that as well. 
Now for the hips, uh, the hips and the knees aren't going to be the best on this guy. So, you know, to kick forward, you're only just going to get just about there and then to kick back, you know, just about there. And then you do have your single jointed knees and you get just uh, just about there with the bend. You know, you can also rotate that along with the entire leg. And then for the ankles, it does seem like it's just on a ball pick, as you can see, you know, the way I'm like moving it around. But you can like also rotate that. And yeah, that is pretty much the articulation for the classic Knuckles figure right there. So overall, it's not too bad, actually. I mean, you can still pose this guy. The elbow joints are just kind of weird because sometimes with these joints, when you like rotate it, um, it's not like in the, the best spot. So you have to like maneuver it. But the classic Knuckles figure does look pretty nice. I really do like it. I would definitely grab it if you really love uh, classic Knuckles or just, you know, collect classic Sonic stuff in general, really. Okay, now let's do some comparisons. So remember, these collector's edition figures are about six inches. So here's like the five inch uh, Sonic Prime gnarly Knuckles figure right here. And then here is just the uh, four inch uh, modern Knuckles figure right here. If you want to see how that is and then you know what let's just throw in uh the two and a half inch classic knuckles for you here as well so yeah uh this is going to be a lot taller of course but uh i also wanted to show this just of like to see how much knuckles figures we've been getting and you know of course more uh later this year i would assume but yeah i do wanted to show uh i did want to show those off right there and then let's actually show off the classic sonic collector's edition figure right here so you can see um they i think they're about the same height it kind of looks like it in a way or well maybe uh knuckles is probably just slightly taller um but they kind of look like they're about the same uh what's also cool is that i heard that uh if you have the tomi uh, ultimate sonic figure uh, i hear that scales well with this one too i don't really own that though unfortunately because i was only collecting you know the smaller figures at the time but um if you have that i did hear that this uh scales well with this figure so that's actually really cool right there uh, maybe one day i'll probably grab that figure but um yeah these two do look pretty nice together now this is my other gripe right here and i've had this problem when i i think when i reviewed um uh, tails and modern sonic i believe but uh if you want to display this with the modern figures um, you know, it just doesn't look that great. And then, like, here it is with, like, Tails. <laughs> like, look how short Tails is with this classic Knuckles figure, man. It just looks so silly. But, yeah, it just doesn't scale that well with the modern figures, unfortunately. So, I would probably just display these with the classic figures. Well, I mean, you know, when we get a classic Tails, um, I would just, like, keep it at that, though. But having the modern figures... Uh, next to each other don't really look that great so yeah that is unfortunate right there all right so that is going to wrap up this review on the jack specific collector's edition classic knuckles figure i personally like it i think it's a solid classic knuckles figure it's a shame that these don't scale that great with the modern ones but he does look pretty good with the classic sonic figure so if you're a fan of that or just love knuckles in general then i highly recommend it if you want to know where i got mine i was able to get this on amazon but just keep in mind these are pretty expensive figures so it's possible at some point it'll get a discount however let me know what are your thoughts on this in the comments down below thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the review until then take care my friends